Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought I'd be putting out this one for Albion Online. It's an MMO which is currently in closed beta and the only way you can have access to it is via three founders packs. Uh, the first one is Veteran, the second is Epic, and then the, the, the primary one is Legendary. Now, there's some fundamental differences between all three of these, and I'm going to run through them as I go through the video. This video is not sponsored by Albion or um, these are just my own personal views and, and some tips for you guys who are considering playing it and what I think you should do if you're not going to purchase a Founders Park in the future. First of all, if you're going to do PvE only, you pretty much don't need a premium account. Because you can grind your fame in a, a dungeon, no problem, and you can unlock your skills, PvP and PvE skills, fine. Now, on the other hand, if you're going to do PvP but want to craft your own skills, you're going to have to have a premium account. Unless you've got 37 hours a day uh, to call your own and you grind the game like crazy for a ridiculously long time now what i mean by this is this is the destiny board okay if you're not a founder you don't get this in the top middle of the screen it's called your learning points you get your accrue about 20 of these on a day daily basis right and it's slow so you want to do PvE, yeah? Now that that's fine. So you th these are the skills you'd be unlocking. Like for example, along on the left hand side, these are your these are stuff you can use. Okay, once you've unlocked them, the left side's the stuff you can use. The right side is crafting, the stuff you are able to craft. Now, what happens is. When you're doing dungeons or killing monsters, you unlock, you get fame, which goes toward unlocking stuff. Now, for example, you need to get a minimum of 9,523 fame. So that's to that red line down there. Now, at that point, you can pay eight learning points and you will fill the rest of that bar up right if you don't put the learning points towards it you'll have to grind the rest of that bar up okay now if you were to put the eight learning points towards it at 9500 you'd be able to complete that at an instant complete and then you'd continue learning then the next level now this is easy to do if you do dungeons with your guild now, down to the crafting, so, like I say, bear in mind, you get 20 learning points a day, roughly. It costs 40 learning points to unlock tools. Okay, for the tier 4 tools, it's 40 learning points, just to unlock at the base level. For 9,000. And then you can uh, finish the rest of the skills skill off. It just instant do. For the cost of 40 LP. Which you can't do. If you're a non-premium member. Okay. So. You'd have to grind that up. Now gathering that. Is extremely difficult. And very slow. That's why I say you've got like 37 hours in a day uh, and a lot of free time and you love gathering, that's for you. But trust me, it's going to take you a very long time to get anywhere fast. Now, obviously, premium, you could get that done a, a lot quicker. So that goes, up, goes for any of the crafting, basically. Uh, if you don't have premium, you can't spend LP because you don't get LP without the premium. So, what's what's the 
perks of having premium other than the LP? Well, as it stands right now, you can't have a mount at the start of the game with a veteran or an epic pack. You just can't have a mount. With legendary, you get an ox, a tier 3 ox, and you get a tier 3 horse. Now, if you want to do gathering and hauling and uh, market trading, legendary pack is the way you want to go get the ox because you will not be able to buy a mount for a minimum of two days give or take two to three days because it takes time for people to to breed the mounts it takes people time to get the silver to purchase their islands to upgrade their islands like i'm on now i'm on my own personal island um I'm breeding a uh, tier 4 oxes at the minute to sell uh, for mount. Uh, now, you need. So, if you're going in at a, a, on a free account, no premium, you're not going to be able to have a mount, so you're going to be running everywhere. And trust me, running everywhere is cancer. You will get pissed off very quickly. Now, if you want to uh, get the legendary pack it's definitely beneficial because you get 7500 gold if you hang on to that gold early on in the game you will get um uh, you will see these this bar here fluctuating and obviously when this bar goes up over time this is over the space of a week um it's been bouncing up and down like, it hasn't really gone above 109 in the past week, to be fair. Well, I haven't seen it anyways. Uh, so this is over the last uh, 24 hours. It, it, it's all player-driven. Now, you can put your amount in here. Say 1,000 gold uh, will get you 108,000 silver. Now, you can also make silver in-game and transfer that into gold. Okay, and buy premium account with the currency you're making game so if you do a lot of dungeon running and a lot of crafting and stuff like that you can not even spend a penny on the game you can physically like just pay you know like with in-game currency which is brilliant now they're the main things you need to be watching out for when you're going at this game if you're a casual player and you're not really bothered about having your own island um like um and growing oops uh great breed not anything like that because it does cost money to upgrade your island um you don't have to worry if you're just wanting to do pve and you're not really bothered about premium you don't have to worry because you're gonna you can grind it up no problem um but you gotta see is if you want to craft your own gear uh, and sell stuff, you're really you're benefiting from premium account. Now, you don't have to have a legendary pack. Um, you know, you don't have to have a premium account for the user amount. It's you're just gonna be behind a couple of days until people start breeding them, unless people sell their legendary horse or ox at the beginning on the auction house but they are aren't very good once people start getting tier fours and fives they become like pretty much dog shite so just a word of warning just in case say uh, you want to rush out and buy a legendary ox or horse early on in the marketplace and someone's selling them they the only good the, the only good so f like for so long now, I hope that's been a bit of help because you get a lot of people in global chat asking loads of questions, but you will need premium for if you're doing a lot of crafting and gathering because you're going to need them extra LP uh, points a daily uh, to like, learn your crafting fast, well, faster, so you can... Uh, um, 
like be ahead of the curve on a release because the servers go down on the 17th of July and they come back up after the wipe on the 23rd of July and it's going to be chaos absolute chaos um now that's just been that's just come from GMs which have spoke in game um that information so yeah now I hope that's like I say I hope that's been a bit of help I just want to put that video out there because you know you don't have to have a premium account but it will help massively with your learning points but other than that if you're just doing a PvE and PvP you can't get away with not having premium so it's that I hope that's uh, been a bit of help uh, and I'll uh, yeah I hope I uh, hope to see you in game guys and if not uh, sooner I uh, hope to see you in game on July the 23rd and uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to uh, use my link for Albion and uh, if you want to uh, get the game or yeah I'll get a little kickback but you don't have to you can just go down I'll also link the Albion website which isn't my affiliate link and you can just go to that instead um, but yeah Thank you very much for watching the video guys and uh, I'll see you all later.